Judges chapter number 4 and verse 4. This is about Deborah, who was a great leader, yet she was a woman. And the Bible says that Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Nathidoth, was leading Israel at that time. Um, one thing I want us to understand about Deborah that made her to be a great leader, a leader that went against the grain, is that Deborah was a worshiper. A leader must be a worshiper. Now the Bible says that Deborah was a worshiper. She was a praiser of God and the Bible says that she was a writer of song. And I want you to understand that as a leader, you must be able to learn the art of worshiping God despite the circumstances, despite the opposition, despite luck, even when things get tough, even, even when people choose to reject your message because of your pastor, even when people think that you don't deserve the position that you are holding. The Bible says that Deborah was a worshiper and I want to speak to a leader today. You may be going through things that you don't like, things that make you feel like you should be giving up the next moment. But I want you to understand that as a leader, you are not going to let anything stop you from worshiping God. You are not going to let anything stop you from writing testimonies of what God has done in your life. And as a worshiper, you are not going to allow any situations and any circumstances to stop you from worshiping God. Why? Because worship changes our perspective on God. Worship changes our perspective on God. And when we worship God, when we worship God, what we are doing, we are taking our eyes, we are taking our eyes of our problems and we are focusing on the greatness of God. So when you are worshiping God and when you are praising God, it does not mean things are good. We do not worship Him because everything is doing well. We do not worship Him because we are succeeding in every end, every other thing. We do not worship Him because everybody is praising us and everybody is agreeing with us. We as leaders, we are to worship God even when we are left alone, even when nobody else agrees with us, even when nobody thinks we deserve the leadership position, we must continue to worship God. We must forget, even when we are in luck, even when our business is failing, even when we are struggling with our marriage, even when our relationship is struggling, even when we are about to be laid out of our work, we must continue to focus on worshiping God. Why? Because when we worship God, what we are doing, we are taking Taking off our eyes from our problems and we are beginning to focus on the greatness of God, God who is more grateful, more that who is more great than anything that we are uh, and, uh, uh, going through. And when we do that, then um, uh, our problems will seem small. When you focus on God, when you look at God and when you look at your problems, you will be able to see that at the point that you choose to focus on looking at God, irrespective of what you're going through, when you look again at your problem, you will be able to see that your problems will become uh, small in the face of the big God that you're focusing, that you're focusing on. And instead of worrying, a leader should choose to worship God and lift God up. You worship should be the lifestyle of every leader. It should not be something that you do because you feel good. It should not be something that you do on a Sunday when you go to church. It should not be something you do when you are given an opportunity to stand on the pulpit. It should not be something that you do when you ask to come and present your song. It should not be something that you do because you have gotten some good deal. It should not be something that you do because your business is doing good. It should not be something that you do because everybody is praising you and lifting you up. Worship should be the lifestyle of a leader in Jesus' name.